Right, I'll do my seven sharp voice. Okay. <clears throat> I am Laura Robinson. I am a filmmaker. Um, I just started writing these episodes and I just saw my friend Severin who is a graduate from the New Zealand Film School and I was like would you be interested in directing a web series and he was like sure and I then was like awesome so let's get a team of people on board and the more scripts and more ideas went on we had more people kind of join yeah a lot of the people that are in Burbs are people that I hang out with and you know get coffee with on the weekend. I think it's about writing roles that you would want to play when you're a writer. I'm interested in making stories really far-fetched but making you feel like it's totally normal and believable. Kind of pushing the boundaries but not kind of shocking people in a way that we're used to being shocked. Like, who's more disgusting? Like a mermaid eating raw seafood or a guy who wants to fuck a mermaid? The way that I go about developing the suburb idea is that I write a script <laughs> and then we do a recce and then I rewrite the script. One thing I didn't really want to do was stereotype the people that live in that suburb. When we go out shooting, I think that the suburb actually does a lot of the work for us. That is quite inspiring in itself to kind of use parts of Wellington as almost like a character that plays a, a little role in every episode. A lot of writers tend to write like quite dialogue heavy stuff. You can show a story through so many visual things. If you have the mute button on, will you still be laughing? For me that's quite important to like, you know, have that visual comedy aspect. Um, when I tell people about the project, they always ask, um, are you gonna do one about Berenpore? Are you going to do one about, I don't know, Wadestown? Which is quite cool because I think people feel like they're a part of it. It's like a part-time project for a lot of uh, members. We're slowly getting building sponsorship up from local um, businesses and communities as well. The future of Burbs is quite mysterious. We could totally create new exciting stories about places that we haven't seen in season one. I think a lot of people are interested in seeing those characters we've already seen in season one again. One thing that we need to do is just make it fun and funny but can sometimes make you cry a little bit <laughs> which is our bird style I guess. I love playing around with how can we how can we surprise the audience and even ourselves yeah.